Hey loves, this is Jay from Jay Young Healing, and this is going to be a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2020. I hope you all are doing well out there and staying safe and protecting you and your family. I know it's a bit chaotic, but it is what it is, right? It's a good time of change. All right, let's hop into the overall energy for you guys. Okay, overall energy for Capricorn, please. Okay, we have the action card here for you. This card is about movement, it's about perseverance, it's about discipline and motivation. This is also connected to the root chakra as well, okay? Let's pull some tarot for you. Messages for Capricorn, please. deck we have the ten of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy this is about uh, family union bliss happiness this is you know the second happiest card in the tarot deck this is about family establishing you know connection love bonding um radiating beautiful energy allowing that en energy to emanate and out, out into the world so that it is returned for you, to you okay and then so i pulled the sun card the king of swords and the high priestess we have two major arcanas here the Sun card, Leo energy, the King of Wands is um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And then the High Priestess is the Tor is Taurus energy. Um, yeah, Taurus, I believe. Okay. So, all right. So with the recent energy, this could be something that you're currently experiencing, something that you've experienced in your most recent past, or something, energies that are coming towards you. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the sun, and I find that I'm feeling that you, some of you are finding inner peace. That's what I feel. That you feel that your intuition is strong. You feel stable. You feel grounded. You feel connected. Um, I feel like things are in order. And you're feeling kind of like on top of the world, like, you know, at this point. Because remember, we have the Ten, the ten of Cups here, okay, at the bottom of the deck. But we also have the sun. So... I feel like you guys are in a place of fluidity as I'm looking at the, the action card and how she's dancing and the, like a fluid motion, okay? I feel like you're in motion right now, especially with this 10 of cups here, and that's a watery energy there. So you're in the flow. That's what, I, that's what I'm feeling right now. Maybe some of you guys have just come over a hump, you know, you persevered. And now you're in this flow. You found the discipline and the motivation to move past whatever it was that you were experiencing. And now you are able to step into this um, wisdom, this knowledge, this um, connection, this, you know, sacred, this, this ability to just be able to tap into your truth. Okay. And I just feel like you guys have a, have a strong knowing here with this high priestess. Um, and it's about connecting to your divine feminine. Some of you are listening to your inner voice. So you're trusting the wisdom. You're trusting the messages that are coming through. You're just, again, there's just the energy of just being in the flow. And that's, that's just, it's very simple. When I say simple, like this is your overall energy is just kind of, you know, kind of being in the rhythm of things. Okay. Um, so it, it's nothing special because it's where, with where we're supposed to be, right? Um, but for those of you that have endured triumphs in order to get here, then it is a special moment for you guys to be able to be in this flow right now, okay? Um, so that's exciting. That's exciting. Let's get some um, let's get some advice for you. Let's see what else is going on here with the advice. See is there anything else? I also pick up an energy of, you know, some of you guys are thinking about children or you're wanting children or you're wanting to take action towards having a child um, and you want to create a family.
I feel like for some of you, if this is an energy that you are, um, that you're currently in, that is something that you can attain is family life. Those of you who are, um, I, uh, cause I'm looking at this sun card and I'm seeing children and I'm getting fertile. I'm getting this energy of being fertile. Um, and I feel like it's the truth. So for some of you, you know, this could go back to my reading of, you know, con conception after loss. There's this energy of a sacred knowledge that's coming through that you will have that family. I mean, we have both happy cards here. This is about family. This is about fertility. This is about birth. This is about conception. So there's no way that you're not going to have that. If this is something that you want, it's going to happen. Okay. It's definitely going to happen. All right. So let's get the um, advice for you, Capricorn. You will be a mother as I'm looking at this high priestess because she is the mother of all mothers. Okay. The high priestess there. Okay. Advice for Capricorn. You are good enough. You are good enough. All right. Full moon in Virgo. Let's pull some tarot on that before we get into that. Shuffle my card today. All right, messages for Capricorn. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, your energy. Virgo or Taurus, and this is about collaborating and building. So I feel like this is based around building a relationship with self, building a relationship with someone else, or building a family dynamic, okay? I pulled the Ace of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Like we have two kings there, okay? That Ace of Swords is an energy of coming into mental clarity. This is also about uh, an announcement, okay? Um, so... <laughs> I feel like it comes back to this energy of you creating, you building something with someone or, you know, or building a family. Okay. And understand that you're good enough. So this takes me back to the energy of those of you that, um, you know, the, the video of my, you know, my last two, I think it was my second to last video of, you know, con again, conception after loss and you feeling like you're just feeling lost and you're not good enough because maybe you can't hold on to a pregnancy um, or maybe you can't hold on to a person that is changing, okay, with this Ace of Swords here. And then we have the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So the Ace of Swords is, I feel like an announcement's coming, okay? There's a, a, some mental clarity coming through, and I feel like there's an energy of you will have success. You will have success in creating the family that you are seeking to have, Okay. And I feel like with that, with the King of Pentacles in the center, you're also creating a foundation, a secure foundation that's going to be abundant and prosper prosperous, okay? I do feel like that's your energy and you're able to be that provider with the King of Pentacles in the center and you're very generous when it comes to that. This um, King of Wands energy is, um, is, is a leader, okay? Is, is a visionary, is, is someone who is honorable, someone who is overcome challenges so i feel like there's and a lot of energy of you overcoming things and now things are kind of lining up to where it is to where you want them to be okay because you're definitely building something oh my god and look at this the ace of cups here pisces cancer scorpio energy this is fertility this is successful fertility this is new love coming in a birth this is a conception okay so some of you are birthing some of you are conceiving but you guys are building a very strong, beautiful foundation with your person. Or if there is no person and you are wanting to just have children on your own, that's totally fine too. It is happening. 
And then under that, look at that. The Ten of Cups is coming out again. This can't get any better than this, okay? Look at the Two of Cups is here as well. And this is about connection. This is about intertwining your worlds. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, possibly Leo as well. Building a solid foundation with someone. So some of you guys could be dealing with another earth sign. You could be dealing with the air or a fire sign as well. But you're building a strong foundation with someone. And there's a lot of happiness that's happening, okay? Because I feel like you're, you know, Capricorn, your energy, very independent person and abundant person. You're meant to have whatever you desire. You are like, I mean, I don't even need to say anything else besides you are good enough. You're good enough. That's the advice. That's the simplest advice I've gotten for all of my readings that I've done over the past couple of days. You are good enough. Believe it. Know it. Feel it. Exude it. It's all happening for you, okay? Let's get the outcome. That was kind of like the outcome, too. <laughs> the outcome is having exactly what you want. And right now, for some of you, it's about family. It's about love. It's about connection. It's about birthing. Um, birthing new ideas or birthing physical beings onto this planet. Okay, you and your loved ones are safe is your outcome. The prayer says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and peace and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. Super, super beautiful. Let's pull some tarot for you. For the outcome. Messages for Capricorn. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is a new start. Okay, that's a new start. That's a new beginning for some of you. You're manifesting something. This could also be manifesting a financial opportunity or developing your skills. But this is about keeping the desire and the ambition, um, the desire and the ambition and, and the craving for something new. Okay, the hangman is here. The two of cups has come, has come back out again. And then we also have the knight of pentacles. So we have Sagittarius, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, your energy, Virgo, or Taurus with that Knight of Pentacles there. So I feel like some of you have developed a new perspective around a relationship and you're able to now come together. Some of you had to experience whatever it is that you've experienced in the past in order to be able to come to this point. Yes, things have taken time and things have been slow, but now it's time for a new beginning. It's definitely happening for you. Um, you know, you're definitely in the flow of that. This is going to be a new beginning for you guys um, because you have felt this energy of, you know, feeling, you know, backstabbed and betrayed by spirit for not being it, for not, not having everything that you wanted in your timing. Okay. There's time, there's your timing and there's your right timing. Okay. So your timing has no marker no deadline on that. Okay. The time the universe knows no time. So it's going to happen in your right timing. So sometimes you have to endure the journey and really that's not always the prettiest thing, right? It's not always the easiest thing, but you had to experience what you needed to experience in order to be able to accept this moment fully. Okay. So whether that is you coming into a beautiful relationship with someone or you and your person and building a family together, because this is all about family, like I said, family and love. So I feel like you guys have, to have done a lot of soul searching in the, mean, uh, in the midst of all of this that has transpired and has put you in a state of feeling like you're just very fragile. You had to do the soul searching in order to build the family, okay? And I'm just look. I'm just reading from all these cards that I just pulled from the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm trying to get them all together for you, but but these are messages from these cards that I just pulled from from the bottom of the deck. Okay, so um, a lot of beautiful energy that's here for you, Capricorn. And you know, don't rush anything. 
right now, just know that there's going to be, there's a new beginning. There's something that's manifesting right now. There's something that you're birthing. You are at the beginning stages of it. Allow it to unfold and blossom as it should. Don't rush anything. Don't be stressed out about anything. It's going to unfold in its right natural organic timing. Okay, so allow it to do that. You've experienced everything you needed to experience to be able to have this patience now. So as you as you be, as you gain more patience, your body comes more relaxed. Your body becomes more relaxed. Your energy becomes lighter, and it becomes less blocked. And so now these these uh, blessings can now can now manifest into fruition. Okay, so it's going to happen. It's it's going to happen. It's beautiful. Well, I hope this reading resonated with you, Capricorn. Good luck to you all. Many blessings to you. This is an exciting journey for, for you guys. Give it a thumbs up if it resonated with you. Be sure to share and leave me a comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscription button and check the notification bell, the all notification bell. And I'll chat with you guys soon. Many blessings on this beautiful journey. Love and light to you and yours, and I'll chat with you guys soon. Okay, bye.